but I got the itch again to, to do some racing earlier in the year, actually here at Rotorua when I raced the third round of the New Zealand Motocross Nationals and really enjoyed myself and then with my role with HRC Japan I was testing and got the uh, opportunity to ride a factory bike again and uh, come with being on the start line and then riding the bike at that level I uh, yeah, found the fire again to, to look at racing at the highest level. Well when I went over to do some mentoring with Josiah uh, back in April I mentioned to Stephen and that I, you know, I had the itch to race again. I knew that he had been talking to Suzuki and, and was looking at the potential of taking over running their racing program and uh, just planted the seed with them and, and uh, told them that I'd be back over to do some racing at the end of the season and, and we'd see how I go and uh, that's basically how it, all, how it all started. Yeah, it was a big decision with the family. You know, I've got three kids now and we've just got settled new home in Tauranga and uh, you know to take my little boys over there and you know away from friends and family and one of them uh, will be out of school for a, for a couple of terms you know it was a big decision and that was probably the hardest part of it. Uh, a lot different to when I raced in the past when there was just myself. Yeah it's a, it's a year contract and that's what I want you know obviously prove that I'm still within the range of racing at the top level you know after across the nations but in saying that you know that's only one race compared to a whole season and for me personally I don't have any desire to do this as a profession I want to do this to achieve some some unfinished business and uh, we'll see where I'm at in 12 months and uh, reassess it from there. Yeah my body's doing really well I'm putting a lot of emphasis on just my really core health at the moment and making sure that I'm in a good condition so when I do get over there uh, you know I have a really good base in my body to work from and just chipping away really it's that time of the year where you know the hours add up and if you lay down a good base it, it really cements a good season. I have a what, what we call a semi-factory race bike here you know I've got a lot of bolt-on parts um, unfortunately it's not the entire bike which I'd, I uh, would like and I've done a bit of testing on but um, reality is it's a good bike for practicing here in New Zealand uh, you know I've got the forks uh, the brake system, front wheel, which all goes together. Uh, then we, you know, move back through, you know, the top area with, you know, my controls, seat, uh, rear wheel, linkage, shock, and exhaust system. So a few bits and pieces just to get me comfortable. It's feeling really good here, but in saying that, I'm looking forward to getting on, uh, getting on my race bike again. Uh, the testing I have done, and I feel really comfortable. Seem to suit me. I think that probably the biggest thing in Japan is the bike's really stable and it's very predictable. And I grew up, you know, in my younger days on Kawasaki's. You know, that's all I rode for what was it, 12 years. And to me, it's very similar to that feeling. It's, it's, um, I guess, like I said, very predictable, and, and I feel very confident um, when I ride it.